we want the summer and the video done today is for and in for all the parents who have their child facing the exams, especially the board exam. First point which a lot of people would feel watching this video would be that how can a person who is not a parent yet is guiding or briefing on or what should a parent do in such situations. Whatever I brief out is as far as I am concerned I feel it's completely existential and stands on mutual grounds for the overall betterment of the parent as well as for the child. As a parent, what a person should do is, should start communicating with the child, not only in terms of marks, but also in terms of the intellect. The child is going to enter into the real life. As far as the school life is concerned or the college life is concerned, it's going to end very soon. The parent should tell the child the importance of marks, but at the end part, what is the base being clever or being intelligent is all about also should be communicated. The parent should allow the child to grow intellectually first. It should not be only the marks. Second point, please, as parents, you should not impose your thought process, impose your emotional expectations, impose your ideologies on your children as far as exams or marks are concerned. You, as a parent, definitely when you would be in 10th or 12th or in any of the exams, you would have scored 92%. It's not necessary that your child does the same. You and your child should be different and there is nothing wrong with it. Please do not impose your thought process of the so-called society status point on your child. I understand that you would be having an image game going on in your society, but check do you want your child to understand the image game in the society or do you want your child to be actually intelligent enough when the child enters into the real life? If you do not do anything concrete as on today with your child, your child will only learn what you are doing with your child. Your child subconsciously or unconsciously will understand that it's an image game to be at the top of your class or at the top of your subject or at the top of your standard, which is really not required because top will only have few seats. Everybody may not be able to be on the top, but everybody may have the image society game going around. Please do not make your child a competitive card for your image. Irrespective of the exams and the marks, it's conveying and teaching the child something which is very negative on the parent front. Third thing, always accept that your child may not be always in sync with your skill set. You would be very good at maths, but your child is good at painting. Let your child be intelligent enough to color her or his life through painting and not just maths. Ask your child the importance of just passing it out so that in the real life, the child makes it easier where the child wants to go. But please do not make it a life-threatening issue that if you don't score 90%, you are no good. No, that should not be the case. If as parents, if you are doing so, if you are living so, if you are thinking so, that itself teaches the child a very, very layman and a very, very shallow 
aspect of maths, exams, and life at large. Teach your child. Teach your child. Treat in all the human aspects possible. Make your child more clever, smart, intelligent, not just an exam which is a race game. Allow your child to get enough breaks that the child becomes fresher to come at books and read again. Don't push the child an extra mile that the child may feel to end this life. Have a beautiful day. If you want deep dive, you can pass me in. Have a beautiful day ahead. Take care. Keep smiling and all the very best to you as parents and to all your children. Take care. Peace.